what's up YouTube back with another video hey it is Sunday morning and um, I am out here at one of the first trails that I hit actually it's one of my first videos that I made this is Markham uh, Markham Woods Trail in Lake Mary Florida um, the first time I did a video of this trail that was with my Cannondale Catalyst uh, bike that I had I believe yeah I think I was riding the Cannondale at that time um, but today's video I, I as I promised yesterday I wanted to take out the new GT Avalanche uh, bike on uh, this beginner trail and just get a feel for the bike um, I've taken it out on paved trails a couple of times I did a couple of night rides with it as well rode completely fine I, I really do like it um, as a as compared to riding it on paved trails but today's my first day actually taking it out to a uh, a um, forest type trail so um, because of that I just wanted to get a feel for it before I kind of take it in on more advanced trails just to see how it performs I got new tires on it as well so I want to see how those feel just to get a feel for the bike itself out here at Markham there are no real large or or drops or there's no large elevations or anything like that it's pretty much flat for the most part a lot of tight current turns a lot of tight corners um, some straightaways uh, it's, it's a pretty fast trail there are some areas where it gets very stumpy uh, very rocky as well but I just want to see how it performs out here this was the first trail I have I, I like coming to Markham and this is not the Markham park that's in sunrise florida this is markham woods trail in lake mary florida which is right side of orlando um so <clears throat> has pretty much the same name but just two different parks two different trails so <clears throat> i'm not going to make this video too long and i'm not going to do a whole um i'm not going to try to gather footage of the whole trail i've already done that on my first video about this trail but there are going to be some parts that i'm going to kind of talk through and and kind of show you guys as I ride on the new bike but for the most part this is just a, a review trail a performance review on the GT Avalanche and then I'll do a follow-up afterwards just to kind of let you know my thoughts because it's not a lot of videos out there on this particular bike so I'll be back in a few and I um, hope you guys enjoy oh, yeah. The wooden log.
All right, take it easy, guys. Okay, YouTube, I'm back. Oh, man. Uh, it's hot out here today, man. I think it's like already 94 degrees. It's hot in Florida. Um, but anyway, just wanted to uh, do a follow-up with that particular trail ride on my new GT Avalanche. I enjoyed that ride. That bike, I don't know if my mechanic, shout out to Norm, if he just uh, tuned that thing like exactly on point. But that is one of the smoothest rides that I've done. The shifting was completely smooth. The bike ran great. It can handle very, very well. I, I must say, uh -huh, I didn't know it could handle that well, to be honest with you. I didn't know in those turns and those sharp curves and... Um, yeah, it's, it's, it was pinpoint accurate. I must say that bike is awesome. Um, could be the tires. I'm sure that helped a lot. I didn't slip at all. I didn't slide at all. I went over sand. I went over leaves. I went over stumps. I went over, um, dirt, hard packed dirt, loose dirt. Uh, pretty much everything is on this particular trail. I had no problems at all on that bike. Today was a good ride, man. It, it was really good. I really enjoyed that bike. I'm going to be honest. It reminds me exactly of the Cannondale Catalyst. But it shifts a lot better than that bike even did. And so, I don't know. I don't know if it's the tune-up that I got on it. If, Like I say, my mechanic is awesome. Um, he's owned his own bike shop in California. He's been working on bikes for years. So, he might have had it pinpoint accurate as far as everything on that bike. But... That was probably the best, smoothest ride on any of my bikes, um, and it went over everything. So I'm I'm very impressed with it. For my first uh, trail run on the GT Avalanche, very happy I purchased this bike. Highly recommend. Um, just make sure you get it tuned on point, because uh, I know how some Dick's mechanics are better than others, but that's going to make the world of a difference. Um, a couple of people stopped me. I don't think I recorded it. If, if, if I did, I'll put it on the video. If not, had a couple of guys stop and ask me, because um, we were kind of riding close to one another. And we stopped and started talking, and they were asking me about the bike. Um, one said he heard of it. The other one said he's never heard of the GT Avalanche. I met a guy that was on the trail that actually works at a bike shop. He looked it over, thought it was really good for the price, for the components that are on it. He liked my upgrades. So, you know. It is what it is, man. I know it's not a lot of reviews or anything on this bike, but I, you know, this is my first one on it, a uh, trail ride on the bike, but I, I highly recommend it. Um, rides a little bit different than the Aggressive Pro because it's a 29er and it's a little tiny bit heavier, but not so much as I thought it would. For whatever reason, when I rode it at night, it just seemed like a heavier bike. I don't, I don't know, but I was also riding on the stock tires as well. With the Maxxis tires that I put on, um, I don't know if they, if it gained a little bit of weight or lost a little bit of weight, but it didn't seem as heavy on the trail as when I was riding on pavement. And I don't know why that is. Maybe because of the bumps. I don't, I don't really know. But yeah, it, it didn't seem that heavy at all. And uh, it was riding pretty aggressively. Like there was one part on there where I was taking the trails as fast as I could. And anything I threw at it, it was it was handling it. So um, I got a lot of sand and all of the components. I hate that part of the trail out there. It's really it's like riding on the beach, on a couple of parts out there, and so it's sand everywhere in the components. The only thing I'm worried about is the hydraulic brakes. I don't know a lot about hydraulic brakes. My mechanic doesn't know a lot about hydraulic brakes, so I do know they're a little bit more fragile than regular mechanical disc brakes. So I'm hoping that. Um, you know those will last and not give me any problems because probably gonna have to take that to a different bike mechanic at a bike shop or something to get fixed but other than that man i have no complaints at all great day great ride great bike and uh i highly recommend it so if you're interested in the gt avalanche check out your dick store right now again they're going for 700 dollars. i would not pay 700 dollars. i would wait until they go to 500 once they drop back to five highly recommend you pick up that bike um if you can get it for that price um don't know if it's going to go on sale for Memorial Day, but it might. Um, if not, check out the 4th of July sale that may be coming up. Normally, they have a big 4th of July bike sale, 
and the GT Avalanche, I'm sorry, the GT Aggressor Pro will be on sale for Memorial Day for 350 If you guys are interested in that one, just a quick heads up. Because um, I actually saw the ad already um, for that particular sale that's coming up on Memorial Day. So if you're looking for the Aggressor Pro, it gets as low as 300 but they will have it for 350 Right now it's on sale for 400 So you get that $50 knockoff price on there. So... Anyway, guys, um, that's it for today. Didn't make, mean to make this too long of a video, but wanted to do a review of um, of the new bike. So hope you guys enjoy the day. I'll see you in the next video. Video and.